welcome to Goffy TV Cars. Today we're looking at the 2016 BMW M2. Many thanks to John and Helen for allowing me to video and drive this car. However, I feel I'm not really dressed for the occasion, so let me just do this first. Ah, perfect. So I'm looking forward to doing an unbiased review of this car. Um, so let's go to it. I'd be reading on too, wouldn't it? So here it is, the beautifully aggressive BMW M2. It's like the already beautiful 1M took steroids, took up bodybuilding and put his angry eyes in. The interior is classic BMW M Sport. Understated, high quality leather, blue stitching, and genuine carbon fiber. So the amazing thing about this car is it's, it's amazingly luxurious and comfortable and yet it has this Jekyll and Hyde personality which is just so appealing, it's incredible. Um, you, know, you can drive it, uh, drive it to go and get your all your groceries during the during the week, the week either, um, and then you can go and take it out on the windy road, and, and um, the car just comes alive. Yeah. Even in good mode, but, but still, yeah. it's so very quick. Oh, absolutely, yeah, incredibly quick. But I have to say, when I go across to Wellington, I just it's more, it's just fun, you know. Just, uh, I like the weight of the steering too, like it's actually, it gives you a nice bit of feel, but it's, it it's, it's, um, it's not quite as heavy as my E46, but that's not really a problem, it's still very in touch, very, you know, you can feel, you get a, a lot of feedback back, it's electric power steering, and yet you wouldn't have guessed that it is. Hello, friendly. I'll tell you what, yeah, just... brake horsepower and a package the size of a Toyota Corolla, this car is rapid. 0 to 60 in 4.1 seconds, electronically limited to 155 mile an hour. The limits of the car are incredibly high. It turns in quickly, is so composed in the corners. The steering has great feel, yet it isn't overly heavy. Even over rough corrugations, the car tracks straight and true, and the power of the brakes is immense.
So, BMW M2. Um, quite blown away with this car, to be honest. Um, the car itself is phenomenal. It's gorgeous to drive. Has all the usual BMW quality and feel to it inside. Um, all the features that you'd expect. And uh, it, it's kind of strange, but it actually feels a lot like the old M3, but considerably quicker. Um, with all the technology and all that sort of stuff, yet yeah, the dashboard and everything is understated, just the way you'd expect with a BMW. The comfort, I mean, it certainly rides firmly, but to be fair, it's really, really luxurious and comfortable anyway. There's just no issue with with the comfort of the car, and yet it turns in like you wouldn't believe. The brakes are phenomenal. You damn near pop your retinas when you stop. Um, you put it into sport mode, and it motivates. It's quick enough just in comfort mode. Put it into sport mode and then you uh, put it into serious sport mode but everything's switched off and my god it's so responsive. It's like a completely different animal and uh, the acceleration is is just phenomenal. It's just linear. Um, you know you kind of expect with a turbo car there's going to be a certain amount. You put your foot down something's you know you're going to wait for a little bit and away it goes. There isn't any of that. This has a really big car feel to the engine of it kind of feels like a, a muscular big V12 right from down low and uh, as it winds up through to 6, 7 which it does really easily it's like the most intoxicating 6 cylinder howl that you'll ever hear gorgeous and when it does that you know things just blew it rapidly it's uh, it's just a phenomenal car to actually be in the seats in it wrap around you I love the facts of the, the, the the finishing touches with the, the blue stitching around everywhere, the carbon fibre. Also tried in manual mode as well and that was really interesting. Got into manual mode and changed it manually and, and I tell you what, changing up or down is so quick. Down shifts are always blipped and it's always just perfect, the perfect revs for the speed you're going. Um, yeah, it's just something so precise and things about these German cars, I just love them. In terms of you know the exterior of it too, you know the outside of it is um, it's absolutely beautiful. Yet it's 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 like a, a an old 135 or a one M on steroids. You know the whole thing's been puffed up. You, know, you can see that the, the guards are all they're all kind of puffed up with big rubber on them, and they just it just got that really aggressive kind of you know look at me, I'm going to tear your head off type look. It's just phenomenal, and the colour blue, it's really the only colour for this car. I, I know they, they look good in other colours, but this blue is gorgeous. It's just nothing quite like it. There's only one thing that I really dislike about this car. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs>